Welcome back to the Roadshow, everybody. This morning in the buzz, after all of these months, Chris Brown has posted an apology over the incident incident with Rihanna. His rep, Holly Baird, says it was not part of any court order public service announcement. Chris just finally felt that it was time to take to his fans and talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. Take a look. I've let a lot of people down, and I realize that, and no one is more disappointed in me than I am. As many of you know, I grew up in a home where there was domestic violence, and I saw firsthand what uncontrolled rage could do. I have sought and I'm continuing to seek help to ensure that what occurred in February can never happen again. And as I sit here today, I can tell you that I will do everything in my power to make sure that it never happens again, and I promise that. What I did was unacceptable, 100%. I can only ask and pray that you forgive me, please. I hope that others learn from my mistake. I intend to live my life so that I'm truly worthy of the term role model. Role model. I think it's going to be a while before we use that term to See, describe Chris Brown. Here's a couple of things that bother me about what I've seen. Yeah. Number one, he seemed angry. In just now? Yeah, he yeah. seemed angry. There's a tinge of anger to me. Yeah. Number two, it seemed as if he was reading off a prepared statement. Right. And it wasn't coming from the heart. Right. Um, my question to you is, should he have done it earlier? Absolutely, he should have done it earlier. Vince, I don't think there's anybody on the planet who said he should have done it right away. I mean... But do you buy the, but do you buy the argument, listen, if a lawyer's talking to you in your ear and says, listen, keep your mouth shut for yeah. now, well, kid. You don't yeah. want to come out and admit something right. before you've been tried or any that's of that. True. Keep your mouth shut till this is all said and done. Well, he apparently said that he did apologize to Rihanna earlier, which I think is the most important part of this, is Absolutely. apologizing to the person at your heart. Whether she believes it, buys it, accepts it, whatever, you got to do it. Well, based on what you just saw, you buy it? Uh, I, you know, we put the question, is it phony or heartfelt? I don't think it's either. I think it's probably somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was completely phony. Right. I really don't. But is it heartfelt? Not necessarily either, because like you said, it sounded like it was a prepared statement. Yeah. And uh, I think it was just more of a sense of duty. Felt like he kind of had to do it. You think you this know? does anything for his career? Does this put, try to put it back on track? I absolutely think it will. I mean, because there are certain people who are going to see that apology and say, finally, that's what we've been waiting for. We wanted to make sure you weren't a complete monster, right. so to speak, after we saw what happened. Exactly. So. And that he said he continues to try to get help. Uh, he did use a little bit of an excuse saying that he grew up in an abusive home, so right. that's basically the only thing he's known, but continued to say, I'm, I'm looking for help, and I continue to strive to, to be a better man. So I think if you're going to take some positives out of that, I think those are the positives you take out of I think, you know, after this whole saga, though, it really is sort of the end of the story now. It's the last piece of the puzzle. Everybody was waiting to hear the words, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, so. the question is, do we ever hear anything from Brianna? You know, she really hasn't said much to no. this whole thing, huh? No. And I wonder if she'll react to the apology. It'll be interesting to see if she has any reaction. I to that. think it would be smart for her to just keep her mouth shut and try to keep her yeah. her career on the straight and narrow. To keep her distance away from and, it all. and stay away from him, and maybe look in the future for some guys who may have that type of uh, temperament. Well, you know, they had sort of gotten back together a little bit. And yeah, that, that's what was going on. Those were the rumors that were yeah. taking place. Thank goodness she's. But when on. you know, you know, when you're 20 or 21 and you're 19 years old, you know. You're not, you think you're smart, you think you know everything, but you really don't. Mm. Yeah. And you so. usually learn that lesson sometimes too late, but yeah. in this case. If you're me, you learn it when you're 45. <laughs> Courtney, not what, too late. <laughs> Courtney, what are our live bloggers saying about this apology? We're just getting started here on FoxProvidence.com, and let's take a look at what some of you folks are saying. And this one came from one artist, and she says, I think Chris Brown did the right thing by apologizing at all. And E. Cals had heard it on the radio, and she said she thought that it was sincere and heartfelt. And um, Jerry thinks that, of course, the fans... He thinks that they'll be ignorant to what happens around them and that they'll still be fans of Chris Brown. We do have a poll here on foxprovidence.com. And um, we are asking, what's your reaction to Chris Brown's public apology? Your choices are A, I believe him and think he's sincere, or B, I don't believe him, he's a phony. And we also have about four comments here on our Facebook page. Fans here have been weighing in on our wall to the same question. And Jen thinks it's too late. Jean Joy says, who cares? Tracy says, ditto. And Julie says, nah, it always happens again. So that is where everybody stands as of right now. But I will be back at the end of the show to reveal today's poll results. But for now, we're going to head into the kitchen. Danielle, what's